I guess first off, Patrick, how, how, how did this feel and how did it compare to the first one you had the other night? Well, it always feels good to get a win. Uh, I think that's six straight or something. So it, it feels good to be playing, you know, solid baseball, have these late comebacks. Um, comparable, uh, they're both pretty exciting. It's hard to hard to put a which one's better than than those first two. That, uh, Tonight, probably, you know, it's keeping the momentum going and, and we've been playing really good baseball and, you know, it looked like we were down late and we really came back and that one just, that one was special. What were maybe some of the best reactions you got from the first one after, you know, the three foot hit and, you know, getting your shirt ripped off on the field and all this stuff? What was maybe some of the best reactions you got from people? Just all laughing at how, how bad of a swing it was. <laughs> Making fun of how white I am on on Twitter, um, some pretty pretty funny comments out there. Thank you, Justin Descano. Your line is open. Hey Patrick, on that same note, you said after the last one to us that it it wasn't really how you drew it up. Drew it up. Is this one a little bit more how you drew it up? Uh, I think I've put three balls in play in the big leagues, and I don't think any of them have been like above seventy. So definitely not. But. As long as he gets the job done, that guy's he's got a really good changeup, and you know it's tough to get in the air. Um, Dom was able to. I I just wasn't able to get it up, but it got the job done. Luis said that you're gaining a lot more confidence in in those big spots uh, through those opportunities. How do you feel like tonight versus you know even last Friday? Um, you know I I think I was just as comfortable. Um, I kind of had that plan in my head once. You know, we got to, I was the last man on the bench again. Um, kind of, you never know what's going to happen. I, I think we're going to, you know, put together something late. You know, it just always feels like that with this team. So, you know, you're always ready and you just have that plan. You, you know who's going to come in. So kind of just preparing for, for him and what he's going to try to do to you. Thank you. Ken Davidoff, you're up. Hey, Patrick, uh, just looking at your tweet, you wrote part two. Uh, wondering how many parts there are going to be. I mean, hopefully the part three ends with a hit. Um, <laughs> that would be a lot cooler. But, you know, any opportunity I get to help this team, I'm going to try and take advantage of it. Thank you. Chick Signer, you're up. Hey, Patrick, you kind of alluded to Cesar Valdez, the pitcher out there. He's a pretty unusual guy with that changeup he throws all the time. I'm just curious, as you're doing the preparations, what are you – thinking going against him in, in that spot? Honestly, just treating it like someone that's, you know, thrown in the backyard um, that has a lot of movement on it, almost like a wiffle ball. You know he's not going to overpower you, but you've kind of got to see what it what it looks like in the box. Ended up being the first pitch I saw was the best pitch, and then he kind of executed really well. I didn't I didn't really get much, much after that, you know. I, um, he made some good pitches there. You know, just, just looking at the scouting report, you know, he's going to throw a lot of change-ups. You know they're going to move a lot, but until you get in there, it's it's tough. And then once I got, I think I was 0-2 or 1-2 pretty quick, um, just getting in there and battling and, and trying to get something over the infielder's heads. Tim Healy, you have the next question. After getting called up a few times last year, but not getting into a game, how much of a thrill has it been to not only get into games, but to find yourself in, in those sorts of spots? It's been exciting. You know, I, I didn't expect to be in those spots, uh, you you know, being so new to the, the team. But, um, you know, any opportunity to, to help the team, whether it's in the second inning, like my first at bat, or, you know, ninth or tenth inning, uh, you know, I'm always excited to, to try and make something happen. Has there been any lighthearted razzing about having two walk-off RBIs but no hits? Uh, I tend to make fun of myself a lot, so <laughs> I think it's it's probably more me laughing at myself. But, you know, uh, Barnes just came up to me in the locker room like, hey, are we trending up? Like, did you hit that one any harder? And I was like, uh, actually, it was. I think it was just as slow as my first at bat. <clears throat> Thank you. Mike Mancuso, you have the next question. Patrick, in this era of the strikeout, when you're down two strikes by making uh, good contact and fouling balls off, can you talk about your approach at the plate when you were behind in the count like that? 
Yeah. Um, well, first of all, I hate striking out regardless of the situation. Uh, that's kind of always been my game. Uh, I don't really want to take the swings I took tonight, but it's tough with that guy because he's got so much uh, so much downward action on that changeup. But really just trying to see it up and have, have a spot picked out, knowing where he's got to start it to land it in there. Uh, you know, it's still tough. The, the one, the last pitch still, you know, I think it was at the bottom of the zone, but it's, it's running. It's probably not going to end up a strike. So just trying to see it up and, and battle and get something up in the air um, and just let it get to me because I know I have time to make a, make a decision. Jerry Beach, you're up. Hey, Patrick, obviously six straight wins, you guys are going to feel pretty good about yourselves and pretty confident. But when you win like you did tonight and Friday night, do those wins generate even maybe even more of a collective confidence given that, like you said, it's everybody coming together, everybody on the team contributing and winning in unusual and dramatic ways? I think anytime you're winning six straight, it's, it's a good feeling. But there's, a, there's also a feeling of we haven't even gotten close to where we, where we can be offensively. Um, you know, John Means is a really great starter out there, and we, we battle him pretty tough. Um, we didn't get, you know, a couple hard hit balls to, to drop in early, but we're, we're getting close, but we haven't quite reached where we, where we can be offensively. And it's going to be scary once, once everything starts to click, once some guys get healthy, and, you know, once some guys get going and some balls just start to fall. Um, we've relied a lot on our starting pitching and our bullpen and some of these dramatic comebacks. But, you know, if they're going to keep us in the game, we're going to battle, and we have all the confidence in the world in, in what we can do. Patrick, your final question comes from Anthony Giacomo. I was just curious, uh, based on that picture you tweeted out, it looks like you got something dumped on you in the clubhouse. What, what were they attacking you with? Uh, it's eggs, baby powder. I've, I can't get the baby powder out of my throat. Somehow I must have had my mouth open. So <laughs> it's... It's in the back of my throat, uh, and you know who knows what else. I tried to close my eyes. <laughs> Thanks, Patrick. Congratulations, and thank you very much. Thank you.